No regrets as Andrew Dimitriou decides to walk away from football. Glory for Australia's Kate Blanchett on a glittering night at the Oscars. A thug questioned after punching a woman over a shopping centre car park clash. Also tensions rise in Ukraine as troops get ready for war. And a hero uncle praised after a devastating house fire. Live from Melbourne, this is 7 News with Peter Mitchell. Good evening. An emotional AFL Chief Executive Andrew Dimitriou has announced he's quitting at the end of the season. The search for his successor is already underway and an appointment could be made within weeks. Here's Chief Football Reporter Mark Stevens. For a man known as Footy's dictator, the farewell speech couldn't have been softer. Simone and my children are my sunshine. Any other my way. I'm hoping that parents uh, don't take it up as an option. Jackie Quist, 7 News. Ahead in 7 News, Oscar Pistorius goes on trial accused of murdering his girlfriend. The hunt for a tattooed thief with a taste for food courts and why baby wipes could be doing children more harm than good. And our perfect start to autumn just keeps getting better. I'll have details later in the bulletin. Police are searching for a burglar who broke into 11 food kiosks and a cafe at a Cheltenham shopping centre. The man aged in his 20s stole cash in his early morning raid on the Nepean Highway complex last Tuesday. Security camera pictures show the heavily tattooed man carrying a distinctive white shoulder bag. Anyone with information is urged to call Crime Stoppers. An ingredient commonly found in baby wipes is being linked to a dramatic rise in cases of dermatitis. There are now calls for a national ban on all wipes containing the controversial preservative. It's a job made easier for mums, thanks to baby wipes. They're very convenient, so if they didn't have chemicals in them, they would be great. Those chemicals are causing... Freezing grief. Lake Michigan to raise money for the Special Olympics. Still to come in 7 News, a new poll deals a double blow to the Prime Minister. On board with the Special Police Squad cracking down on Bay Hoons. And what marketing companies are doing to track your children online. The trial of Olympic runner Oscar Pistorius over the murder of his girlfriend is due to start in South Africa in less than an hour. Chris Reason is outside the court in Pretoria. Chris, has Pistorius arrived there yet? Peter, no, but just about everybody else has. Uh, good, uh, good evening to you. Look, in the last couple of uh, minutes, we've seen the arrival of uh, Oscar Pistorius' brother and sister, also Reva Steenkamp's family. Felton, seven News. Tim Watson's next with tonight's sport. Thanks, Mitch. Hello, everyone. Coming up, we cross live to a star magpie, Collingwood's season launch. Plus, the Bombers back on high alert as the drug saga causes more angst. Also, wake up, Warney. You're missing the captain's batting masterclass. And Tiger Woods runs into trouble as Rory McIlroy chokes. Hello again. Essendon is trying to focus on its round one match against the Kangaroos as the club deals with the latest flare-up in the supplement scandal. Nathan Templeton joins us live now from the Bombers' season launch. Yes, thank you very much, Tim. I'm joined by senior assistant coach uh, Simon Goodwin now. Simon, how exciting and important is tonight just to get the club focusing on round one? Yeah, look, it is, Nathan. It's great for our supporters, great for our sponsors to come here tonight and, and really see the challenges of 213 behind Holes. us. Aussie Stuart Appleby finished tied for eighth. And, Roy, not over those uh, problems yet. Yes, well, it gets it sorted out before the Masters. Well, there's not long to go. No, not, not at all. Thank you, Tim. Still to come in 7 News, why a Melbourne woman had her stomach removed to reduce her risk of cancer. And North Korea makes up its mind on a detained Australian missionary. And the red carpet hits and misses. We'll take a look at all the fashion from the Oscars. A young Melbourne woman has taken the courageous decision to have her stomach removed after tests revealed she was at serious risk of cancer. Kate Fulford lost both her mother and sister to the disease and had an 80% chance of developing it herself. 
Kate Fulford is just 26 years old, but she's endured more than her fair share of tragedy. The idea of having the surgery, I just thought was crazy. She lost her mother to... I feel great about being here. The Oscar winners now join the ranks of Hollywood royalty. In Hollywood, Angela Cox, 7 News. Joe Silvani joins us next with a look at the weather. Mitch, we're in for a perfect autumn day tomorrow. I'll have the details right after the break. This weather report brought to you by the Bank of Melbourne. Good evening. It was a glorious autumn day across Melbourne today, with temperatures remaining quite mild until things warmed up late this afternoon. We reached a top of 25.3 degrees just before 4 after an overnight low of 15.7. At the moment, it's a very pleasant 23 degrees. This warm and calm start to autumn is welcome news for three world champion board paddlers. The trio embarked today one of the final stages of a world record attempt, paddling all the way from Wilson's Prom to Tasmania. The guys have undertaken the gruelling 320-kilometre journey to raise awareness about the health of our marine environment. Better then than me. On the satellite, some cloud was present early, but cleared, cleared before lunch to reveal a stunning blue sky day. These clear skies are expected to hang around overnight and bring a lovely start tomorrow to much of the state. Around the country tomorrow, Brisbane a shower or two and 28, partly cloudy in Sydney, a mostly sunny day for Canberra 28, 34 and sunny for Adelaide, Perth also sunny and, 20, and 32 degrees. Across Victoria tomorrow, clear skies in the morning before cloud in the south and the chance of thunderstorms in the state's central west late in the day. Tullamarine will reach a top of 32, sunny and 28 for Mount Dandenong, a little early fog before a sunny day in Frankston and Geelong mostly sunny after a foggy start, 33 degrees. A sunny day on the way for Melbourne too, through the outer northern suburbs might receive a late afternoon shower or thunderstorm. We're expecting a top of 32 degrees after an overnight low of 17. Looking further ahead, Wednesday a shower or two, 25. Cloudy for Thursday and Friday and a mostly fine weekend on the way. So Mitch, a stunning day tomorrow before things cool down slightly a little later in the week. OK, Joe, thanks very much. And that's the way it is this Monday, the 3rd of March. Thanks for your company. I'll be back with updates later. For now, from the 7 News team, good night. <laughs>